the tiers of special abilities. So um, this is particular to beasts that have special abilities. We've kind of discussed this before, looking at these cards, some of them have special abilities. The cost of a card is simply determined by damage plus health minus one. So if this card didn't have a special ability, four plus four would be eight, minus one would be seven. Typically, this card would cost seven. When you have a special ability, it adds, it increases the cost of the card. And it goes by three tiers. First tier, meaning it's a, it's just an okay special ability, doesn't really, not so much. Tier two means it's a intermediate special ability. Tier three means it's an extreme special ability, something really special. You know, this card right here, for example, the ability to summon a dead, that's an extreme special ability. That's tier three. When it's a tier one, tier through two, or tier three, that determines how much is added to the cost. So tier three means add three. Five plus four minus one, eight plus three, because it's tier three, that's 11. So if I had a card that was a tier one, maybe it's like it, if you roll a one, you do one extra damage. That's not a whole lot of, you know, that's actually not that big because it's pretty rare to attach to, to roll a one. So I would consider that a tier one ability. So you just add one to the cost. If it's a card where you roll one or two, that's a little bit higher, I might make it a tier two ability. If it's a card that says if you roll one, two, or three, or if you roll an odd number, because you know that's 50% of the rolls, that's a lot higher. Depending on the ability, I'd probably consider it a tier three, so I'd add three to the cost. And that's kind of how the tiers work with special abilities. And there's no other to set or define parameters. It's really when you're creating the card, think about what makes the most sense to balance the game. And maybe every now and then you want to have a card with a special ability where you don't even want the special ability to be tiered because you want that card to be an ultra rare card and that's just one of the lucky chances you happen to draw it, it comes with a special ability you don't even have to pay for. Suppose like this card was one of those 4 plus 4 equals 8 minus 7 and you didn't want to add extra to the cost and you just left it at 7. That's up to you. I don't hardly do that. That's just my personal decision for balance of the game but you can decide that yourself. Anyways, that is how the three tiers work for special abilities.